Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Please interact with the video. Uh, YouTube loves that, or shall I say advertisers love that. Interacting means that you click on the thumbs up or thumbs down. You leave a comment. You reply to other people's comments. You thumbs up or thumbs down to other people's comments. You subscribe. Click the notification bell. And you share the video. Because sharing the video gives other people to be able to see the video. That's how it works. So, Japan releases fully functioning female robots number 20. One. So there are videos here on YouTube that are 10 years old that are referencing as, uh, just as a deposit of video clips from video clips that were already 10 to 15 years old. So we're going back 35 years on these video clips. And what's in these video clips? They're showing robots walking perfectly like humans. Robots are walking like men with the men sway. Robots are walking like women with the women's way. And uh, except for the exaggerated people in our population who act like women and they over-exaggerate, most women just have a natural sway because their hips are larger than their upper torso, so they have a natural sway. And normally, their legs are larger than what can actually fit in a perpendicular situation. So they have a sway about them that they have to walk around each step that they take. Now, a lot of times you're gonna see stuff from universities uh, that are funded publicly by the governments around the world. A lot of times those do not do not have the best technology. They simply have technology that their students can research. And so, to learn about robotics. When I say Japan releases fully functioning female robots, I'm talking about the adult industry. The adult industry has actually led technology since technology has been technology, as far as we're talking about of cameras, all sorts of, all sorts of things that you uh, not hold dear to you or take, uh, take for granted today, actually was started by a, the adult industry. So the adult industry in Asia has put money into perfecting the look of robots. They've perfected the skin. They've perfected facial hairs like the eyelashes, eyebrows. If there are men, there are mustaches and beards and stuff like that. Even the tiny hair that you find uh, on your skin that you can't really see. Also, they've perfected the facial muscles and the facial muscle articulation to show emotions on the actual face. It's very easy since the starting pay or the starting cost of one of these robots is $345,000. And the going rate after you have made all of the customizations that you want, you know, like uh, I want brown hair, I want brown or red curly hair, I want freckles, I don't want freckles. I want alabaster skin, I want a, a tan, right? When you make all the customization that you want, they run about a million dollars each. With that much cash coming into that uh, company, they can hire the best research and development, the, the best makeup artists, the best everything that you can think of, and they're hiring all the best talent. We already know... Uh, 60 years ago, they had already had animatronics that have facial muscles showing emotions. You can see that in the very first Lincoln in the United States in Disney, right? Japan already had that also. Not to promote Disney, but Disney Tokyo has a bell and the beast that actually walk around, sing, uh, smile at people, wave at people holding a basket of flowers and so forth and so on that's it you can look that up here on youtube now there are japanese manufacturers that make such tall robots that walk like humans and they walk on tight ropes that's how expert that they walk and you can actually find those videos here on youtube too i tried to search for them but i could not could not find them well i started my search and then i went down a rabbit hole of looking at certain robotics manufacturers and uh 
it, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get around to seeing the tightrope uh, walking robot, but it's here on YouTube. Just to talk, type in uh, tightrope walking ro robot. Uh, Japan's theory of robots is to make robots the size of children so as not to appear to be a threat to humans. As much as Jap the Japanese love robots, as opposed to the Americans who, because of the propaganda that we see in movies and commercials and TV shows and in our books, Americans are quite fearful of robots and fear that they will take over. It doesn't help that Elon Musk and some of the other scientists all talk about watch out for AI. The Japanese have lived with robots literally for hundreds of years. They've made automatons. They already made robots automatons that walk into rooms and deliver tea and stuff like that for hundreds of years. Wind it up and send it in there, right? So, but they're not foolish. So they make a lot of their robots be only like three feet tall four feet tall right so as people aren't afraid of the robot so that they can buy the robot and take it into their home now a lot of you think that robots are still 200 years away before a robot can sit across from you and talk to you convincingly not only is that already here but we have apps like that on our phones where people talk to the robots thinking it's an actual human that's how advanced AI is. There are apps on the phones that are psychology apps that you actually talk to, and they've done a lot of research on this, and they've made a lot of observations with it and surveys. Now, a lot of the research has found that humans trust talking to a robot more than they trust talking to another human. That might be sad. That might be, I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, uh, leave, me a, leave me a comment of how you feel about humans trusting robots more than humans when it comes to actually talking to them. Now, the, uh, most, the AI that most Americans are actually used to is the AI that they think is on Facebook, Google, YouTube, right? That, in fact, is not AI. That is an algorithm. The algorithm pieces together trigger words and then executes its programming. The programming is created for political reasons a lot of times, especially when we're talking about Google, Facebook, YouTube, right? The people in those companies are, are hardwiring the algorithm to trigger when a certain combination of words are put together to do certain things, such as uh, let's, let's do a Google search and give the person all of the gr glories of Bernie Sanders, all the glories of Obama, right? Because that's that's what they want to promote to the public. They don't actually want to give you what you're searching for. They want to give you a, a rose-colored uh, picture of what they think uh, you should know, right? And, and now they're coming under attack, but that's not this video. Now, Asian robots, completely different, are programmed to ensure that the customer gets what he wants if it's a man and he's purchasing a female wife robot he's going to get a female the perfect female wife robot she cooks she cleans and she says nice things and as the customer talks to the robot uh, she is programmed to learn his personality and to develop a personality of a loan that complements his personality so if the man is sarcastic the robot will be sarcastic right back in the nicest way possible right a lot of times a lot of a lot of people are sarcastic and they like sarcasm that's that's their thing they like sarcasm a lot of people are quiet and they like quiet so the robot wouldn't run around uh you know giving gettysburg addresses in your home now the robot will do say stuff like, oh, they miss you. Welcome home. They'll greet you and all that sort of stuff. Now, moving on to China. China is ahead of America in robotics because their government directly invests in their technology as a state function. In one of these uh, videos, I uh, broke the news that uh, China has officially declared uh, a one of the companies to have a wife robot 
because there are two million men in China who do not have wives and they will not be able to get married because of the population difference between men and women in China. So they declared that a certain company who had made a robot wife uh, officially had the state uh, approved robot wife. Now, when I say China is ahead in robotics, they're ahead in a lot of technology. China has a quantum computing. Now, I know that the United States has quantum computing, but the United States has quantum computing in a completely different manner. In the United States, they have a quantum computing of a chip, very complicated chip, and they have the chip at zero degrees Kelvin that they keep in a refrigerator of a refrigerator of a refrigerator, right? And when you reach that level of coldness, uh, there is no resistance, impedance. Oh, please don't get me trying to, to explain to you science. Uh, versus China has a thousand chips working all simultaneously, oh, uh, meaning that you will get computations that are just uh, astronomical. So then we turn to the robotics in the United States and we have Boston Dynamics bragging about they have a war robot that walks. A robot that climbs stairs. A robot that does somersaults and flips. If we then turn to Asia, we see that that was 40 years ago. They're just now achieving that in the United States. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like the video. Thank you for making this series a success.